games new to me. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, Rob here from Games New to Me, and we're playing Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And I picked this game up today at my local Goodwill for five bucks. I have never played it before, and uh, I figured I'd play it for Retro Sunday. Now, like I said, I have never played this before. So I'm gonna suck real bad, so I warned you. Don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me. I'll find you I'll find out who you are. Wedge Antilles, born on Corellia, had a hard life growing up. His parents were freighter pilots, killed trying to save a space station when Wedge was young. He's got a natural ability to lead. And I wouldn't be surprised if someday Wedge became a rogue leader, but he'd much rather be flying missions than attending parades. An excellent pilot, Wedge saved my life at the Death Star, and I owe him. I expect to see Wedge do great things for the Rebellion. That sounds like Mark Hamill. Dak is one of the newer, younger pilots, and I don't know him as well. He replaced Biggs after the Battle of Yavin, and is showing promise as an X-Wing pilot. He's still new though, but what he lacks in experience, he makes up in enthusiasm. He sort of reminds me of myself back when all I wanted was a little excitement and a chance to take on the Empire. I wonder if uh, Hamill was doing voiceover for the N64 game. Hobby is the skeptic of Rogue Group. He doesn't warm up quickly to new ideas, but he never challenges the authority of his superiors. Hobby just does most of his thinking on the inside. You never hear from him unless he has something absolutely crucial to say. He originally trained at the Imperial Academy with Biggs and Porkins, and he jumped ship at the same time they did too. Since then he's been working in the solar system, running guns, but now he's been chosen to fly with Rogue Squadron. Zev is a little older than the rest of us. He's probably got a few stories to tell, but he keeps pretty quiet. He joined up some time ago after the Empire killed his parents for secretly supplying the Rebellion. Since then, he's been a great asset, once holding off three TIE fighters while an Alliance transport fled into hyperspace. Okay. I've only seen Jansen truly happy when he was manning the guns of a Y-Wing or Snowspeeder. He's a gunner, first and foremost. Wedge swears by his accuracy and knack for hitting small moving targets, like TIE Fighters. Jansen always has a short temper, though. Many is the time we've had to pull him out of a cantina fight, but I would trust him with my life. I can't decide if Mark Hamill sounds like Luke Skywalker here or if he sounds too happy to be Luke Skywalker. I don't know. Luke Skywalker was kind of happy. Alright, let's go back and actually start this game. Start. Ah, previous players who owned or whoever owned this cartridge before I did. Like I said, I got this at Goodwill today. It's N64 Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And I'm gonna delete one of these games. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm deleting the cadet because that's like the lowest rank. I didn't earn it, it's not mine, and I'm frankly not at a skill level to play even cadet. I need to be a trainee right now. I only put in my name. Games new to me. G. Uh, where the hell's the G? No, G. Damn it. N. No, what am I doing? I'm not thinking straight is what I'm doing. N. Two. I need a two. Where are the numbers? 
There's no numbers? Oh, come on, there's gotta be numbers. No, and there's only four, three characters, so G and TM isn't gonna work. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna put G and M. Games new me. I wish there was a two, or at least I could put a T, but I can't, so I won't. N, M. There you go. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Ambush at Mos Eisley. Over Mos Eisley with Wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Now I've already played around a little bit, just to get an idea of what's going on. But whatever happens, over Mos Eisley with Wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. I'm just letting you guys know I'm gonna suck. I tried playing some of the other players' saved games, and I'll shut up. Almost perfect balance of speed, maneuverability, and defensive shields makes this the fighter of choice for rogue squadron. Except when the mission profile disallows. In addition to four blaster cannons, the X-wing can carry a number of proton torpedoes. It's powered by four fusel thrust engines, and requires an onboard astromech droid for peak performance. I see. Alright, let's pick it. I don't have much choice in that. Although, that's a pretty good ship. And it's pretty iconic. So, as a trainee flying that on the first mission, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get this show on the road. I wasn't going to read that to you guys because it's easy to make a mistake on scrolling text and I didn't want to sound stupid. It sounds stupid enough as it is, so why exacerbate the situation? Alright, things are getting serious. Whoa, nice. Okay, this feels like Star Wars. Should be easy, right? I mean, it's nothing can go wrong. It's just a routine Luke, thing. Already? Ah, oh, hell. All right. I'm not used to the controls. I'm not used to the gamepad. I am not sure which buttons necessarily do everything. I know there's a way to get cockpit view, but I'm not sure how to do that. So I'm just gonna play third person like this for the moment. What the hell was that? Alright, you're gone. Down, baby! I downed your ship! Ooh, I think I collided with it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright. Come on. 
Where are you guys at? Uh -huh. Hey, nice shooting, Luke. To quote a different video Star Wars video game. Alright. Okay, I'm doing okay, I think. Best I've done, but this is the first time I'm playing the trainee mission or training level before I was playing somebody else's saved game. Whoa. We almost collided there. Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea of how this radar thing works a bit. Alright, that speeds up the ship. Alright, I'm doing good. Oh, you bastards. At least these guys aren't shooting back, so that's a good thing, I think. No, that's... Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to shoot that. First time I tried this, I was shooting things that I wasn't supposed to shoot, and the mission failed real quick. Because I didn't know what was expected. Alright. Oh, I gotta concentrate for a second. Ah, there we go. What is that? Gotcha. Gotcha, baby! Okay, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I think I need to destroy it. What was hey. that? Who said hey? What was that? That was weird. Oh, you dick. Uh, wrong angle and everything. I knew I was gonna miss him. There was something on the ground that I thought I think I was supposed to destroy. Okay, that's an X Wing. Never mind. Sorry about that. Just a little friendly fire. Don't judge me. Okay, that's not to be shot at. Let's see. I need things to shoot at. Damn it. No, that's... At a distance, it's hard, sometimes hard to tell what's what, and rare, these are kind of, by today's standards, kind of primitive graphics. And frankly, I think that N64 is an underrated system. And this is a pretty damn good looking game, all things considered. A little primitive, yeah. And I'm not really much of a flight simulator guy. Okay, I think I hit something. I wish I could do a barrel roll. I mean, in the game, not in person. Do some sort of neat, like, reverse direction type thing. Alright. Come on, there's gotta be something here for me to shoot. Uh, the mission is not done, obviously. I think it would let me know if the mission was done, wouldn't it? Having not completed a mission yet, I don't know that. That's just the land speeder, or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know what it's called. Yes, I like Star Wars. Yes, I've seen all the movies. No, I don't know what it's called. I can't remember the name of anything. I don't remember people's names. I don't remember things' names. Okay, I think I just shot somebody who didn't need to be shot. Okay, so one friendly fire incident for sure. That's destroyed. 
whatever that was. Okay, that, I think that's just rubble. I'm surprised I'm still in the air considering how many times I've scraped this ship. Yeah, that's just rubble too. How many times I've scraped this ship against <laughs> desert sand. Alright, what do we have here? Nothing. That's that land crawler thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. I'm scanning, I'm scanning. I'm scanning already! Whoa. Oh, fighters! Jeez. I think those are TIE fighters, if I'm not mistaken. No, not, not as in Thailand fighters, just the TIE fighters. I think I just hit one. I mean, with my ship. Ah! Fuck you! I know I've hit them with lasers. Okay, I collided with that one, I'm sure of that. And I think he's gone out of control. Or did he? No, it's still three of them. Damn it. Come here, you. Come back here and fight you, lily liver. Okay, that was a collision. I heard something crash. I'm kind of doing the kamikaze approach, I guess. And not on purpose, just incidentally. I'll have to search online and actually read the instructions to this game. But I was excited because I got it today and I wanted to like play it for you guys. What the fuck? We did it! We saved Moss Eisley! Nice work, Rogue Squadron. We might make a name for ourselves after all. Well, I'll be damned. Alright, I'm going to be cutting this video here in a second. Wow, mission complete. Look at that. Hey, I didn't do too badly. Look at that. Look at those scores. I didn't get a medal, but still. Alright, guys. I'm going to be turning this video off. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It does a world of good to my channel. And it lets you know whenever I upload something. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.